Um, here, that's, uh, of course, in yang theory design, in and yang, okay? Uh, well, uh, when I was very young child, uh, I thought that was uh, like North Korea and this is South Korea, <laughs> but that was uh, funny. It's not like that, but it's uh, uh, in, 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 uh, the lower part is in, uh, the upper part is yang, which is bright side. So bright, uh, uh, dark side. Um, this goes for uh, everything, okay? For everybody and to everything that goes on in your life. Uh, in other words, without this, without this and this, Duality, we call it duality or binary opposition, opposition to, so two uh, opposites. So binary opposition in, in uh, literary criticism. Um, without this, there is only one, and that's the truth. That symbolizes the realm of the truth. Why? Because uh, that is the real source of anything that's phenomenal, like this. This is the beginning of the whole universe. And, uh, you know, it's uh, now it's multiplying, right? Multiplying, but uh, first of all, it's from um, the two, this or that. In other words, I'm the subject and, uh, and anything or anyone in the whole world or in the universe is the object. Now, we all know this, where, where it is. Uh, it, it comes from, of course, Korean national flag. Um, this is from uh, Juyok, uh, Book of Movement. Now, uh, here, I don't know how, to, how these go. Um, so there are 64 uh, diagrams, but uh, I'm telling you about just yin yang, just like that. And then uh, the, uh, so the how here, this is more like uh, equality, right? Equality of uh, the two sides and then multiply. But uh, here, why do we this as majors of literature and also uh, uh, people, as people who are very much interested in uh, movies? And here is the reason. Uh, literature and the arts lead us toward um, transmitter path. This is kind of like a difficult uh, word as you start feeling, I know, but uh, don't worry, I'm gonna explain this. This is just middle, okay, jungdo in Korean, uh, middle way or the middle path. Lots of Americans know that already, okay? Lots of Europeans too, uh, because they know what the Buddhism is about, uh, but uh, this is not only about Buddhism, but the Buddhism, uh, whether you're Buddhist, uh, whether you're Christian or Hinduist, Muslim, that doesn't matter at all. This is not just religious, okay? This is religious, but that's a word. Religion is a word. And also the system of hum human thinking. So you get it away. And if you don't have any religion, that's perfect. That's perfect, okay? So the middle between happy uh, in uh, yang side means happy and the, the inside uh, in the side of uh, the lo lower part, the lower side is, uh, it re reflects disappointment and then high, low, pleasure, pain, uh, power, powerless, good, uh, evil, and so on. And the first half, uh, the dual, 
you know, uh, and then move, uh, the two sides are also uh, moving, each of them is moving and also emotion, emotion, raw feeling, raw feeling, and then reason, in other words, um, you as the subject has your own emotion and, 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 and reason and lay judgment between this and that, okay? That guy, oh, so the, uh, there is the object, Gumjung Mountain there that I see right now, but that is beautiful or that is not so beautiful today. That's my feeling. So it's already subject, okay? How my subjectivity accept what I subject, uh, what I, uh, as the subject, Except, okay, that's my feeling. This, that's not the object as such. So already uh, the subject object and not only the subject object terms, but there's the term that is called binary opposition in myself, okay? Bright side, uh, dark side, okay? That's beautiful. I, I like that. Uh, much better than this one. Uh, yesterday it was dark and I didn't like that, but today I like that, just like me, okay? And then appearance, uh, now we're just grasping what it means by uh, the middle path. The emptiness, consci uh, consciousness doesn't mean uh, uh, Freud's term of consciousness, but pure consciousness. And here, this side is good and this side uh, is good, and uh, they say, uh, 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 you know, what uh, um, if there are uh, two different countries, this country is uh, uh, people say we are right and we have to conquer these uh, people and teach them. And but these people also believed in the same God and truth. So they are just two different countries which believe in the same kind of God, but it's not the same kind. Uh, it's the same kind, but it's not the same uh, God because it's uh, already different, different images of God and uh, uh, the righteousness and conscious, uh, conscientiousness and conscience and so on. That's what actually happened in human history over and over again uh, between Japan and, and uh, Korea and Japan and uh, China and German society, uh, Hitler and the Nazis and other uh, European countries too. Now here, uh, so they make decision, decision making and decision making. They think they are all right and they think they are right. But here, in the middle, undecidability, indeterminability, indeterminability, okay, or undecidability, or unfinalizability. These terms are the terms of um, postmodernism, or rather, postmodern ethics, and also um, when you go really to depth of any religion, you, you find the same source. Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Muslim are uh, talking about the same God. In other words, the same truth, okay? Which is the whole, not this, not that, but the whole. In other words, um, oop. Okay, um, here, um, here, the images of God, the images of God, which are uh, phenomenal, but here it's not phenomenal. It's uh, never expressible, but it's um, uh, there that we call truth or real God. Okay, without any um, image of punishing or rewarding people. 
uh, as in the Bible or Christian Bible or uh, Buddha in some uh, Buddhist sutras or Hinduist sutras or Muslim uh, Bible, you know, um, there's God, the absolute uh, uh, person, uh, person like God who dominates the whole world and the world when you reward you when you um, have done very good things and punishes you uh, when he finds you've done very uh, wrong things. Now here, uh, I don't know uh, why it's going this way, but um. Okay, here, yeah, uh, good. Uh, so the two sides, okay, everything that you see it, it, it consists of two sides, the binary opposition diagram. And the truth is not this and not this, okay? You're not stuck to this or this. And on the other hand, this and this at the same time. That's uh, not really easy for you to understand, but it's easy. Okay, it's easy when you try to get out of the complex human mind uh, reasoning again and again. Uh, I have to wake up, and then to today is going to be a bad day or a good day because I I have to meet uh, someone. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, it's like a wheel turning around and round. Uh, if you're not caught up in there, then uh, you calm down and you grasp the whole, and you don't know what it is phenomenologically or consciously, but you feel that. That is the truth, and, and it, the importance is this. You don't really, uh, or rather than that, you never become stupid uh, without thinking. In other words, you become wiser because you're uh, raising any thought uh, from the region of emptiness. Okay, emptiness, the equal, equalizing uh, realm, everything is equalized and uh, not only equalized, but you don't know anything about that, okay? For example, Socrates said in, uh, also in uh, Western society, already Socrates 2000 years ago uh, said um, uh, in the plaza, <clears throat> the big plaza of Athens, uh, who are you? Who are you? Uh, do you know who, who you are? Do you know who you are? And people say, um, no, I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know who, who I am. Then uh, one of his disciples asked Socrates, um, sir, uh, this makes me ask you this question. Do you know yourself then? Um, and then Socrates said, no, I don't. But the, uh, the reason why people say I am the uh, uh, smartest peop uh, person in the, in the whole Greek society is that the, uh, the fact that I know the fact that I don't know myself. In other words, he doesn't know he, himself who he, he is, but he knows the truth, truth that he doesn't know who he is. And that's very important. There is the realm, excuse me, uh, there is the realm where we have to stand and say, I don't know who I am because uh, if you know both sides, right side and bad side, uh, you know, to, to some people, this is good and this is bad, but to some other people, this is good and this is bad. And for you to have really good judgment, the best judgment, you have to know 
this and this together. And then it means uh, subject as well as the object. Object as well as the subject. In other words, you have to know what you are thinking about and also you have to know uh, what others are thinking about too. And it's impossible. Impossible to express, but it's trans phenomenally or non phenomenally possible. In other words, in terms of truth, that is the uh, 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 real possibility. Okay. Then you're uh, really smart. That's uh, going into that realm. In other words, entering that realm is called awakening. Okay, or spiritual awakening. And also that is the purpose of uh, uh, the humanities and also literature studies and film studies, whatever, uh, and art, other forms of art like paintings and music, but uh, philosophy too. So here, I take an example, Kant. Kant says there is only one true nature and also, not, uh, not only Kant who lived more than 250 years ago, but uh, uh, Deleuze, okay? Deleuze, Giles Deleuze. Giles Deleuze uh, uh, also says that, and, uh, he, and he calls it body without organs, okay? There are so many terms that you use uses for this. Uh, so what we uh, pursue is this, the spiritual breakthrough to awakening from the illusory life of uh, suffering. In other words, uh, there are two uh, sides, okay? Pleasure and uh, suffering. You're always pleased by um, seeing something that you like or uh, tasting um, uh, delicious food and so on, or having a lot of money or, or uh, something like that, anything like that. But you get disappointed and you feel suffering when you uh, realize that you're not that much rich or um, you don't have that much knowledge or you're not famous at all and so on. But that is not true, okay? That is not true. And uh, the truth is this and this all the, all the time, but not phenomenally. The whole is the truth. The whole is the truth. And that is uh, claimed by not only Kant and Giles Deleuze, but a whole lot of uh, philosophers, whole philosophers, and also uh, a lot of artists too. Okay, and Buddha, of course, is living uh, everyday life, uh, every second of life with genuine and unswerving wisdom. You're going to be like that. Now, yet again, real uh, freedom means you are free from the ego intensity that chooses one side, okay? Only the side of yang, yang, uh, bright, brightness. And you look that down upon others, uh, the other side, in other words, and you raise yourself. That's the ego and or sometimes you get disappointed and stressed, and that's also your ego's work. Okay, ego pl is pleased by disappointment. Really, okay. Um, that puts you in prison, built by your own uh, discerning mind. In other words, reasoning. Uh, I'm brighter than others. I'm more beautiful than others. Oh, and I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, I have a uh, um, billion dollars, but um, uh, then some weeks pass by and you come to think that uh, this doesn't really satisfy me. I wanna have a hundred 
uh, billion dollars and then a thousand billion dollars. Uh, so the thing is, my point is your mind, the state of your mind was happy, happiness, but the state of happiness, but it comes through as time flows to be disappointment and stressed. Okay, that's not genuine happiness. That's just, that was the feeling, feeling, raw feeling of pleasure. That's it. But real happiness is uh, knowing this and this and covering this and this and not serving, not moving, oscillating between this and this, but whether you are pl placed here in this part or in this part, you're, you're always calm down. Okay? Then you feel really bliss and uh, you go beyond suffering and so on. That, that's waking, awakening. That The moment, uh, the ch we have the chances to uh, reach that moment or at least glimpse, to glimpse that moment or that realm uh, as we read the literary text or watch a film. I mean, masterpieces. So not this, not that means, let me go on to um, the example of uh, Adam and Eve. Okay, Adam and Eve here is, uh, Adam and Eve, according to the beginning of the book of Genesis in the Old Testament, uh, Adam and Eve, ate the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and they were punished, and they were kicked out of uh, the, the paradise. And it symbolizes our state of mind. I mean, um, having that knowledge means beginning to have the ability to between judge, uh, judge between good and evil, which is good, and which is bad, right? And of course you choose good one, but remember this, what is called good cannot be good or called good without this, okay? What is called bad cannot be called bad without this, okay? It's always like clapping sound. Okay, so uh, there is always in the world of phenomena, okay, of this world uh, or the whole universe, there's always this uh, yin yang, okay? That's how we can uh, lay judgment about anything. Now, the truth is that this and this are one, right? One here, um, Here, here, we're right here, um, here. This and this are just one, okay? They consist of oneness, not dual, but oneness. So, uh, there's no side, sorry about this. Um, okay, uh, here we go back to the text. Now, so there are always two sides, but actually there are no sides. It's like a dream. It's like vain dream that you dreamed last night, okay? I mean, is there anything that has the substance of uh, lasting, like uh, uh, any any time, is time and space real? I mean, uh, is there anything that lasts? Well, uh, time, we distinguish time in terms of one century, or now can mean 10 uh, years, or one year, or one minute, or one second, or one thousand. Well, 
what is the length of time? Do you find any substance, reality of time and the space that goes with time? No. On the one hand, uh, there's no, we don't really, uh, uh, I mean, we, uh, as we think this way, you don't find the lasting substance or substantiality or essence of time. But on the other hand, we know uh, everything uh, happens in time and space. So we cannot ignore this, okay? But the source is nothing. Now it's not really nothing but emptiness, gong, uh, uh, gong in, in Chinese language, I think, gong in Korean, uh, emptiness. Emptiness means, so uh, let me summarize this. Not this, not that, or and this and that at the same time. So there, it cannot be expressed, but truth is, that the um, truth or the ultimate reality cannot be uh, felt or judged by your reasoning ability. So they started ha to have that kind of judgment ability uh, to uh, judge between good and evil. And then in philosophy, uh, it goes down the lines here with Descartes, Rene Descartes, I think therefore I am. Oh, that's yes, uh, in the history of philosophy or metaphysics of Western uh, thought, uh, that was good, but uh, it's not really uh, um, uh, right. I mean, nowadays, a lot of, lot of, a uh, whole lot of uh, postmodern uh, ethicists or post, at least postmodern thinkers critic criticize this, okay? This guy, Rene Descartes, I think therefore I am. Um, I think that's all right. And this is the truth. No, truth doesn't appear this. Truth is this and this at the same time and not this, not that, at the same time. So you can say that uh, in, in this book, sec my second book, uh, which came out uh, last uh, June, the first day of uh, last June this year, um, uh, truth is uh, um, uh, beyond this and that. Okay, uh, and then a lot of uh, philosophy uh, philosophers are uh, there in, in my book. So uh, Western philosophers such as Descartes, Kant, Hegel, these are, and then Heidegger too. Uh, these are great thinkers, of course, but uh, they didn't reach, Nietzsche included, okay? They didn't reach infinite, universal, absolute, and true, Okay, so something that is to be that is that deserves to be expressed this way. So meditation, okay, meditation doesn't only mean sitting meditation or seated meditation. You can do that while you walk. There is a, a walking meditation and so on. But uh, meditation, you can do meditation when you do anything. Uh, it means. The originally it means just calming down and, and, and staying there. Um, and if you think about anything there, then you'll be really wise. Okay, there is uh, there are uh, good movies like Forrest Gump. Um, um, in Forrest Gump, uh, the hero, the uh, protagonist. Does uh, lacks he doesn't have the proper uh, ability, proper amount of ability to judge and to be called wise, but he becomes much much better than others. Okay, much his success his success is huge, and also uh, Truman Show. There's there's the movie called Truman Show, right? Truman Show. Um, finds the, uh, uh, 
what's that name? Um, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, uh, he, uh, the actor's name. He finds that he is living in a prison-like small stage, like a, uh, a stadium, right? And then he uh, finally gets out of that world. It's awakening. It's it's a symbolic uh, of awakening. Now let's go back uh, back to what I was mentioning a little bit. Hamlet, the end of Hamlet, the end of Hamlet. Uh, if you choose uh, to be pleased and have power and more uh, wisdom, just fun, which are just phenomenal, then uh, what happens uh, in the in the end? or after uh, the end of reading Hamlet. In the end, uh, not only uh, the Claudius, the enemy of, of Hamlet, the bad guys who killed his uh, younger brother, which is who was uh, Hamlet's father and took Hamlet's mother, uh, older brothers, wife as his own wife uh, and became king, that's a bad guy. He is killed by Hamlet, of course. But think twice, Hamlet is killed too. So not only bad side or evil side, but good side also disappears. Okay? Both this and this disappear. So you can say not this, and not this, or this and this at the same time, okay? Uh, nothing is everything. Everything is nothing. I mean, both stands, okay? But then uh, his palace is conquered uh, and he's gonna die. Uh, he also, also, he's dying there in uh, before the end of the drama. And then, uh, if the story would please you, then that story should go should go this way. Like uh, Hamnit uh, becomes a king of that country, and then uh, he conquers the uh, neighborhood countries, and then uh, he comes to be sort of uh, emperor and uh, to be great. It's not happening. It, it doesn't happen at the end. At the end of that drama, great drama, Hamlet, these both sides go away. Okay? And then uh, ego, ego intensity of any side disappears. So if you choose only what seems to be good, then it's vanity of the self. In other words, there is there would be no uh, work like William Shakespeare's Hamlet, okay? But that is one of the greatest literary texts ever written in the human history, okay? Also think about uh, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll, who is good, and Mr. Hyde, who is bad, are one person, and he wants to kill the, this person, uh, bad guys, and there's only one way, unique way. What is that? To kill himself, because this and this consists of, I mean, comprises, comprise one person. It's just one person. Okay, so it's not that simple uh, as people say, uh, I like this and uh, I, I don't like that. Uh, you want to avoid a uh, stressed state of mind and then you want to welcome pleasure. No, it's not. Okay, you, uh, that's why I uh, over and over say, Get out of the Jang Jeon-dong mind. Jang Jeon-dong is where Busan National University is. And then uh, that's, of course, my joke. Uh, I'm a good joker. <laughs> um, so open your mind toward the whole world and then to the whole universe and then to infinity, OK? Um, beyond expression. Now, uh, we have to go fast here. Um, so that we can have five minute or 10 minute break uh, before the second uh, uh, part.
But uh, humans lost ability, yes, uh, peace constantly, as I said, and yet Buddhist sense paradise. So we are not kicked out of the paradise. We are always in paradise. In other words, this world is pa paradise. But uh, to your eyes, to your mind's eyes, this world may not be paradise. If you are egoistic, oh, you will say, oh, I'm not, I'm not egoistic. But uh, what I mean by uh, uh, ego, being egoistic is this, is you're not uh, 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 saying you're self-centered, but you're always self-centered in choosing this good for you and abandoning this side, evil side. So uh, Jesus said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And he also said, enemy, uh, love your enemy. How can you love your enemy you, while you hate your enemy, right? So um, you, you really have to think about this. Um, now we have not uh, really lost, okay, uh, here, and then spirituality is the quality of pure consciousness beyond the duality formed by such opposites as right and wrong, subject, object, even pure and impure. You know what? This is my book. This is, the, this is a book. This, uh, uh, it means there is a book. That's your concept. And then there is no book. You don't see any book, right? It's nothing. But emptiness means this and this at the same time and not this only and not this only so it's not uh, either of presence or absence in other words no concept this is a concept concept of a book being there you see and also this is a concept of the absence of this book right absence is also a concept. So there's no concept of the truth. Now, spirituality includes, uh, embraces the both. And moral, it's not more morality. It's not moral morality. It's not morality, uh, dodok in Korean word. Um, but it's, I'm talking about Yuli, talking about ethics, not morality, moral uh, law. In other words, moral law says, uh, as a boy, when you're very young, as a boy, as a male, you have to act like this, uh, blah, blah. And then you, as a, a female, uh, as a girl, you have to work uh, 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 this and that. Uh, you know, that's morality. And it's, it separates this and that, male and female world. And also it means uh, man is superior to women or, or vice, vice versa these days. These are uh, morality. Okay? I'm not talking about this kind of morality, but ethics is this and that. Okay? Uh, we see the whole things. Uh, president of this country is pr uh, president of this country, uh, president of the United States is president of the United States, and there are poor people, rich people, of course, but the, not to try uh, make hierarchy and look down upon others, okay? or uh, to be stressed. But it, on this side or that side, your mind is calm, and then you work, you become to work better than others. You, you, you'll have more wisdom. Uh, Lao Tzu and Chuang Tzu here, uh, Noja Changja in Korean, uh, Lao Tzu, Chuang Tzu, um, they also uh, talked a lot about this, uh, the Tao. Tao is the term for truth. Now here, I'm uh, uh, accepting, uh, ex uh, this is an excerpt from the Bible, Christian Bible, chapter two of the book of Revelation in the uh, New Testament shows, uh, we have the true, uh, tree of life and the water of life. It means 
we have the water of life here okay, inside. And outside too, uh, because there is no uh, 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 separation between actually in ultimate reality between subject and object. But as Kant said, uh, the object is reflected into uh, your subject, subject, subjectivity. Then you really find here the oneness, the oneness of this and that, okay, at the same time, or not this and not that at the same time, and it goes to Lacan too, Jacques Lacan, uh, Gilles Deleuze and Emmanuel Levinas, and a whole lot of other uh, thinkers, okay? And also, I respect this person, uh, Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle uh, is almost number one spiritual teacher over the whole world, and he says uh, in his, uh, third book or second book, which is called um, A New World, A New World, he says uh, this, and I agree with him. Uh, we have already, uh, already reached the new stage of humanness. He, he says um, here, this is not in my book, but uh, there are, uh, I put the uh, bold funds or also uh, the bracket. Uh, the evolution of hum humankind, in other words, he says there, uh, I don't know uh, about the Eastern world because I'm not uh, 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 there, but in the Western world, at least one tenth of the whole population is already on the next stage. In other words, not a uh, really egoic stage that um, um, homo sapiens uh, enjoys, okay. Yeah, homo sapiens there. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, um, here I put, um, uh, we're gonna have five minute break here and uh, come back and have another hour um, in Korean, I guess. A lot of in Korean. Thank you very much.